welcome back to Beneficial Gaming, everyone. It's the morning of day seven for War of the Walkers, and tonight we're going to be facing the Horde. The goal for today is to finish the Horde base, so we're ready for that. And I spent the night kind of uh, finishing, putting the frame together today. We're going to be doing all the upgrading, and we'll see how it does against the Horde. So I crafted a bunch of concrete, I have cobblestone, I have about a thousand wooden nails. Should maybe be enough, I think I might, will probably need more wooden nails. Um, I have more cement crafting, I had more concrete going in the cement mixer. And we'll come back and get that a little bit later, but right now, what I want to do is um, head out over to the base and just start fi finishing that. So as far as our class quests go, we're pretty much near the end for everything except for technician. Um, for covert, we just have a couple soldiers to kill, which I think we'll probably take care of at the Horde Knight. We need more class fragments. We need one more for technician and survivalist. Something tells me we'll get that um, at some point during the Horde as well after with the loot bags. We'll see. That way we can start crafting those vending machines. So let me see, do I want to grab, yeah, let's grab this concrete and let's head on over to the base. I already have Eve and Mad-Eye over here. Um, I brought them over in the evening. I had to build this um, this ladder over here, get them up there. I tried getting them up through the, the path up here with the ramp, but every time that they would come up here to try to follow me to the main area, they would just jump over this like this and end up falling down and never path towards me, which was really annoying. So I just put that ladder over there. Let's start working. Got a vulture. Come on, Eve. All right. Oops, might want to reload. Dead. All right, back to work. Oops, out of wooden nails. I'll just make more of that later. I should have enough wood to at least get the main stuff to wood.
Okay, that's it for now. It's almost time for the horde. Let's get into position. Close this hatch. Make sure we're locked and loaded. Okay, now we wait. It's time. Here they come. Alright, let's do this. That's it for the first wave. Where is everybody? Is anybody stuck down there? Looks pretty good so far. Lots of loot bags. All right, here they come. Time to repair. Whoops. All right, it's a good time. Let's uh, eat some meat. Maybe throw on a bandage. And time for round three. Oh shit, I'm on fire. Wait, 
Where the hell's my coffee? What the shit? What happened to my coffee? Son of a bitch. Oh, let's just put a bandage on. Oh, we got bubbles. Jesus Christ. Alright, I gotta go look at the footage to see what happened to my coffee. I'll have to look at that after, but I don't get it. I could have swore I had at least like five or more coffees. Take that, you fuckers. I see Eve putting in work. I can hear Mad Eye shooting. Even though it's the first horde, I do have it set to 64 zombie horde. Figured I'm gonna have some NPCs helping me out, might as well up that horde. Plus, it's just more interesting when you got a crazy amount of zombies coming at you. I mean, I was able to get at least a main fighting area up to concrete by the first horde, which is, you know, awesome. But I need to take a look at the base after this and see how it held up and see if there's any adjustments that need to be made. They're slowing down a little bit. So many screamers. Good thing they don't trigger during Horde Night, because it would be a clusterfuck. Shut up! Fairly quiet. I hear a couple people beating around somewhere. Just reload just in case there's another wave. That may be it. Let's see. Bunch of loot bags down there. Gotta finish that pit today or at some point after this. Uh, this is over. That oh, there's a little. Come on. Stupid sunburn. Ah, oh, damn it. My pistol's broken. Stop beating on my base, asshole. Come on. Die. Oh, you want to come up here? Whoops. Now you stuck. Don't you look stupid. Jesus, Eve. Stop shooting the blocks. Yeah, see, I gotta do something about that. I gotta figure out a different design, because these NPCs just shoot blocks, not realizing that, you know, they might be able to just move over, maybe the pathing is improper for them, I don't know. So, sounds like that's it. Let's, uh, put on our lucky looter goggles, goggles, fuck, I can't talk, goggles, and let's go looking through the shit. That's a good amount of loot bags for day one, or for first horde. Oh, let's eat the eye candy as well. Okay, hopefully we got some good shit. That's it for the loot. Let's check our base and see what kind of damage they did. Looks like they didn't touch these pillars, which is good. Let's check over here. Eh, a little couple smacks here and there. Nothing to be worried about. Looks like the base in terms of pathing is working. They beat on these stairs a little bit. I said I gotta finish up this uh, this pit. See how that works. Maybe throw some traps in there. We'll see. Oh yeah, this is where freaking sunburn was beaten on the base. That's why this is so bad. Other than that, not terrible. 
let's look at the main fighting position. All things considered, still not terrible. Let's repair the hatch. And we can upgrade these side pieces as well. Yeah, see, this is where they're shooting through the blocks trying to get at the zombies. Zombies? Jesus Christ. Zombies. And so I gotta figure out a way to remedy that. Anyways, everybody, that's it for today. That was a pretty exciting first horde night. I'm gonna go through all this loot. Looks like we got some class fragments. Should be able to finish up a couple of the classes. Other than that, thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you guys enjoyed this episode, if you haven't done so already and you feel like it, please hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that like button. Hit any button you want other than the dislike button and I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye.